Pete's Pigskin Preview spotlighting 80 area high schools from 6-man to 6-A as we get ready for the high school football season. Pete's Pigskin Previews are brought to you by Wayland Baptist University and Raider Pump and Supply. First, uh, why don't you just talk about being the head coach of the Patriots and really starting this from the ground up. Well, it's been a it's just been a long time. Um, been wanting to be a head football coach for a really, really long time, and this opportunity presented itself. And couldn't think of a better place to do it than than here at Lubbock Cooper. Um, it's been uh, you know with these coaches and these kids. Uh, you know, we started working with them all all summer long, and the coaches showed up all summer long, and and we just had great turnout for the summer. So just the start to it has, has been amazing. And Give us the, the, the progression, how it's going to go. You're going to start as a JV, yet the other sports are going to play varsity. Right. You know, s since we came in in the middle of a uh, alignment year, we decided, you know, it'd be best for, for football to just go ahead and, and just play an outlaw schedule this year. So we're going to do that. We're going to play a uh, freshman JV schedule. And then you're right. All of our other sports are going to play a varsity schedule. They're going to play uh, – jump in in a 3A district with Idaloo, Abernathy, Slayton, uh, Roosevelt, you know, some of those guys. Really, really great district for us to start in. And coach, uh, just talk about then you're going to add juniors one year and then seniors the next and have a full high school. Right, you know, probably by, I guess by 25, we'll have a full high school. Uh, next year, we'll have uh, three classes. So we'll probably get bumped up a classification, probably go up to a, a small 4A. And then once we add, you know, all four classes, not real sure where that's going to put us, but I know there's a, there's a lot of really great kids. First day of school today, saw a bunch of awesome kids at Liberty High School. And then I would assume since we're talking freshman and sophomore, nobody has a car probably. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you know, that was the thing we were, we were really concerned about because we still got some construction stuff going on, so that's why we're over here at, at, at Cooper Middle School. We, we appreciate those guys letting us come over here and work out here and we were wondering how we were going to get everybody over here you know normally we would say all right everybody jump in your car and that's where we'll go but we've only got about i think we have two kids that can drive so that's kind of a a, a new thing for us also what has this been like now to implement the the offense and defense and and over time you're going to see this thing you know, it's a gold mine. Right. You know, we're starting, you know, pretty basic, you know, just like you would when you were installing anything from the get-go. But uh, Coach Tolliver and Coach Newton and all of our offensive and defensive coaches have, uh, you know, started just putting pieces together. And we're starting to add to those before our next game or our first game next week. And it's just been a lot of fun to see the kids pick up the terminology and uh, everything that we've got that we've been asking them to do. What did you see from the Patriots in that first scrimmage against the Littlefield? I saw a lot of really, really good things. You know, we were, you know, 14 or 15, 16-year-olds playing 17, 18-year-olds. And um, at times, you know, we did some really, really good things. Our, our first offensive series, we came out and – I thought we, uh, you know, busted a couple of early good plays, and then our youth showed. Then we started doing some things. You know, we had some, had some uh, uh, mistakes that, that kind of cost us from getting in the end zone. But um, once we start being able to string a few really, really good plays together, I think we're going to be really good. Well, talk about your outlaw schedule. Who you might see this year? Well, we're going to start off with uh, Lubbock High next week on Thursday. We're going to play their freshman and JV teams, and then we're going to go to uh, Bushland. We go to Dumas. We go to Midland Christian. We play Lubbock Christian. We play Post. So we've got uh, we've got about nine games for our freshman team, and then we've got about eight games scheduled right now for our JV. I'm in anticipating we'll probably kick, uh, pick up another game um, probably that week 10. There will always be somebody looking for a game. So we've got some really, really good – oh, Bushland. Gosh, can't forget Bushland. You know, those guys are always good up there. So we've got a, we've got a really tough schedule for us, and but we're ready to get after it. And what are the goals this year for the Patriots? Well, I'd say our main goal is just to um, – just try to improve every week, just like every other, you know, football team wants to do. You know, we started out, you know, from the bottom level. You know, we didn't even own any footballs not too long ago. So, you know, from 
the, the first week when we started two a days till now, I can see a, a, a big improvement. Everybody's picking up the offense and, and picking up the defense. So just a little bit of improvement each week is kind of what we're looking for.